Hello friends, I hope you are well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to host multiple websites on one server. So if you have like a couple of websites like me uh, and you want to manage them all uh, in a centralized uh, server, so all the same way, this, is, uh, this may be of your interest because clearly uh, I move from uh, the, the, the sharing, the shared web hosting to the VPS and I'm going to show you how uh, efficient, how interesting it is to have your VPS hosting instead of shared web hosting. So me, I'm using Hostinger, um, but you can use actually uh, any, uh, any provider uh, that would be the same. They all propose usually uh, a shared web hosting and they propose a VPS, a VPS hosting. Basically, you have your own server. And I'm going to show you how to set up uh, that the, the key point how to set up the server so that you can use it for uh, multiple websites. So on my side, uh, so I have a couple of uh, websites. I have this one. It's a website about uh, uh, voting for innocent or, or guilty people. I have this one which I'm building. It's for uh, basically my uh, design uh, to design uh, website and digital business and set up digital business. I have this one which is not yet on the on the server. It's to uh, it's a selling uh, training in France for optimization and real estate. I've had it for for many years and it's still on the on the on the web uh, shared on the shared hosting but I'm moving it into the uh, the VPS. So you see, you have multiple websites, you have multiple domain names. Domain names are different. This one is markblorsky.com. This one is uh, objectivefrontal.com. I have other ones that I've not shown here. And this one is like innocent or guilty.com. Basically, you can have two, three, five, one million. This will work exactly the same way. And you don't need to buy a new hosting uh, each time you want to set up a new website with a new domain name and that's the that's how it's powerful efficient but also uh, it costs much less than having a shared web hosting and so much faster because once you buy the domain name then you are immediately if so you don't have to wait 24 hours 48 hours that someone set up for you uh, your, uh, your, uh, your 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 website you can do it yourself in the through the web um, through the VPS. So here I'm connected. I'm connected with my VPS. Uh, yes. Yeah, so this is uh, so that's how you access it through SSH. I will make a video if you want to know more about that. If you want to more to know more about about anything re uh, regarding digital business, web hosting, and uh, web design, then you can also find more information and uh, my, uh, my different service on that topic in the description of the video. Uh, okay, so basically you have your server. So we will go now to the, uh, the configuration where we set up uh, every, uh, like how each website is connected to which directory. So first you need basically to set up the directory. So you do it in, uh, first you need to install Apache, which is uh, the, the web server. And then you have like uh, slash var slash www. I will make it bigger, you know, for you. I have a bigger one. Yeah. Okay. I have even a bigger, bigger one. Yeah, this one. So slash var slash www slash uh, HTML. And then you just create directory. So me, I created three directory because I have three websites uh, that are uh, that are running on that server. But I can have millions of websites. If you have a new website, you just create it like like that. Uh, my new website, whatever you, you you give the name you want. You can even give the exact name of your domain name. For example, mynewwebsite.com. And now you can see it's there. Okay, so that's one step. You see that, and then after inside you will just uh, create, uh, add all your file like uh, HTML, PHP, whatever uh, for your website. We you just deploy your website in that directory. Now, how to make the link between the domain name and that website? So this is in the Apache configuration. 
This is pretty simple, so I'm going to show you. So the Apache configuration here, I'm on Ubuntu, Ubuntu, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it in English, uh, 20.04, etc. But I think it's pretty the same for every uh, Linux distribution and version. So Apache 2, okay. And then you have something called site available, okay. So me, I back up every time I make a change, then I, um, I back up it, okay. But the main configuration uh, is this one. Actually, this is the only configuration. So me, I configure everything in one file. So we are going to look at it. That. Okay, so this is the configuration of every website. So basically, for example, for markbloorsky.com, okay, there is, alors here, because I'm using HTTPS, so I will make another video if you want to know how to use HTTPS and redirect everything to your HTTPS, it means your SSL version, you can see that here. It's a, there is a secured uh, icon because it's HTTPS. So it means that when I click on uh, whatever I click, like www, it will go directly to the HTTPS. So this redirection, maybe I will make a separate video about that. It's made here. Okay. So um, okay. So I will go directly to the redirection to the HTTPS version. So HTTPS, you see, it's different here. It's uh, the port is 443 instead of uh, A0, which is a known HTTPS one. Okay. So where is the uh, yeah? It's here. Document root. You can see. I just put the directory slash var slash www slash html slash markbloorsky, and I will do the same for the other website. So you see. Here, nosandguilty.com, so var, iog, so I put uh, the same directory, var slash www slash html slash iog. I have another one which I'm uh, transferring actually from, uh, from uh, my previous uh, web sharing uh, hosting. So I'm transferring it, it's called uh, jeudeclare.com, it's French uh, French one. And uh, the same, you, need, you just need to put, to, uh, to write the, as a document root, you write the directory where it is. And that's it. So once you've done that, you just restart. So every time you make a change to the configuration of Apache, you just restart Apache. So restart Apache. You can do it different way, I do it that way. Okay, you see it's very, very fast. And then the, um, it's been taken into consideration. So if I change and I want to change the, 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 the location, I mean, this is very, this is pretty, pretty easy. Okay? So, innocent. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's it. I hope uh, it helped. If you need some, uh, some help, or help or you want to talk about your, uh, your digital business, don't hesitate. You can just uh, write to me or uh, just call me and then we can, uh, we can discuss about your, uh, your business if you need some help. Don't hesitate if you want to set up your, your VPS or you want to, to try your business in a, in a, in a very fast way, we can, uh, we can try it also via some hosting uh, possibilities. So um, I'm, me, I'm very, very happy about uh, v the, this VPS, uh, much happier than I was before with my um, shared hosting. Um, and um, that's it. I wish you a very happy day and say bye-bye.